The time is now 5.20. It is February 8th. We have 17 chickens right now. That's Shadow, Ezra, and Kathy right there. There's Zinnia. There's Ginger with Zina and one of the Black Australorps. That's Daisy. There's Pepper way over there. There's probably a well summer way out there. With another Welsh summer and a Jersey Giant. It's kind of hard to tell. It's night now. The chickens are all in the coop. There's Brown, Coco, um, Shady, Pepper, Shadow. Brownie and Ginger up on that high bridge. There's Day, AZ, Ezra, and, and Kathy on the, that perch right there. There's the Black Australorps. This is Daisy and Pepper. They are from Portland, Oregon. That's Bella and Martha. They are from Norwalk, Connecticut. That's Meep. That's Cassidy. That's Brownie and Coco. They hatched on our farm. They were the only survivors of all of those chicks. That's Shady. She's from Longview, Washington. That's Ginger. She's from Longview, Washington as well. That's Ezra. He has on our farm just like Brown and Coco did. There's Shadow behind Ezra. She's from Longview, Washington. There's Kathy. She's from Skamakaway, just like where we live. That's Zinnia. She's from just down the road. I'm now going to show you a trip around the farm. This is the chicken coop right here. Here's the nesting box where chickens lay eggs. That's the woodshed where we keep all our firewood for the winter. Those are our blueberry bushes right there. That's the quince tree. That's a thing cherry. This is a pasture where the sheep and the chickens usually are. That's a Liberty Apple. That's a hazelnut. That's more fruit trees down there along with two rams. That's our barn. Here's the main area of the barn right here. This is where we keep our hay bales. Here's the loft up here. Here's the stream that we have in front of our house. It usually dries up in the summer. This is our front yard. There's our apple tree that was here when we moved in. Those are our kiwis. They don't grow any fruit because we don't have a male. That's our grapevine. Now we're going into the garden. This is going to be the strawberry patch this spring. There are windows over it right now so the soil will dry out. Here's a little pond that we have in our garden. There's our fig tree. There's the 
sea berry. Doesn't grow any fruit because the female died. Here's more blueberry plant. Now we're going into the hay field. Here's our hay field. This is where all our hay in the barn comes from. Here's some trees that we planted many years ago. It is late February, and today we had an unusual snowfall, and school was cancelled. These chickens don't seem to mind being out of the coop. The rest of the chickens are inside enjoying the warmth. Most of the chickens outside the coop have more fat in their body. Here are the three tops all covered in snow. Snow is very unusual in, at the end of February here. The chickens like to eat the feed scraps that we get rid of. The chickens always come to you because they always expect food. It's windy today but not too cold. I changed the bedding in the chicken coop yesterday. The chickens even have their own picture up on the wall now.
It's starting to get dark later now. We are now down to 17 chickens because Zinnia passed away last night and here's her grave. It is 6 p.m. but it's still light out. And here's Coco. These are our pregnant sheep. They should have lambs in several weeks. Yesterday we just adopted three speckled Sussex chicks from Fulton Portland. We are now up to 19 chickens. Yesterday, one of our sheep just had two lambs. Another sheep just had a lamb today. This sheep right here had two lambs, but they died before they came out here, so she's taking care of her grandson. And here he is. She's also taking care of her grandson because her daughter didn't take very good care of him. He should be happier with her than his mom. The weather is starting to get warmer out. We are now having the chicks outside for the day, and we bring them in at night. They even have names now. Their names are Misty, Zelia, and Luna. Later, they will be able to spend the night outside. We're also getting more eggs a day now. More sheep have had lambs, too. We're even starting to get swallows. We just got a new well summer rooster yesterday. He is about four months old, and his name is Cornelius. We got him so we could breed the Wellsummer. The Wellsummers are also laying dark brown eggs now. The three pullets should now be old enough to spend the night outside. The lambs are getting bigger now. Daisy has become our tamest chicken. Here's one of the strawberries that I planted. It's already growing flowers. The strawberries should produce fruit all summer because they are ever bearing strawberries. I also plant some onion seedlings. I plant a few cucumber seeds here. They haven't sprouted yet. Here's one of the strawberries that I planted last year. The small hoop house is going to be for the watermelons. Here's the rhubarb that I just planted yesterday. I won't be able to harvest any stocks until next year. Here's the chicken manure I used to fill the small raised bed for the rhubarb. 
The poles are now old enough to spend the whole night without their little house. Next month they will soon be old enough to spend the night in the regular chicken coop. The apple trees are starting to grow blossoms. I planted some willows down by the creek to reshade this area that the beavers cleared. In a few years, they should reshade this area again, and they are starting to grow buds. If it's warm enough this summer, the small stream will dry out. Here's the wild ant hill that we have near the creek. There are green fruits on the salmonberry bushes right now. They turn orange to red when they're ripe. There are more trees down by the creek than there were several years ago. Alders grow really easily and quickly. There are a few willow growing down here as well. We have lots of salmonberry growing next to our road and even a few native raspberries and trailing blackberry. The amount of points on a vine maple leaf is the same amount as the letters in vine maple. These wild huckleberries produce pink edible fruit. Red elderberry fruit is edible but not very tasty. Even hazelnuts grow wild here. Wood sorrel is related to rhubarb. These poles are almost old enough to be outside the chicky tractor now. The weather is warmer now. Hopefully it'll be like this all summer. Bella, the chicken I'm flying on entering in the fair. When this grass grows high enough, it will be made into hay bales. This apple tree has been here longer than we've lived here. It's hollow but still alive. We planted these trees about 10 years ago. This road was still drivable 11 years ago, and now it's all covered in grass, and further down there are trees growing out of it. Sometimes in the fall we go up that hill and look for mushrooms. Less than a mile in that direction there were once buildings and a train. This undrivable road now has shrubs and trees growing out of it. Lots of spittle bugs are living here. Spittle bugs will make big wads of spit and make their homes out of them. The poles are now old enough to be outside the chicky tractor, but I'll have to leave one in to keep Cornelius warm. I will put them in the coop at night. Misty and Luna were just set free from the chicky tractor. And they are starting to chase me. Oh no. Hey, stay back there. Zelia still has to be in the chicky tractor so Cornelius doesn't get cold. The sunflowers are starting to sprout. I planted two tomato plants, brandywine and Isis candy. The cucumber plants are starting to get bigger. 
So are the onions. The rhubarb is growing more leaves. The fig tree is growing its first fruit. Brownie is now six years old. Coco is six as well. The three speckled sussex are all set free now. Unfortunately, Cornelius did not make it. I will have to replace Ezra with a different rooster because his legs are have leg mites and I don't want him to spread them to every hen. The hens seem to be hiding their eggs because we don't get very many a day. Misty became a tame chicken. We are down to 18 chickens now because Daisy was standing in the road and she was run over. We're also not getting as many eggs these days. Here is our new rooster Seamus. He is a Rhode Island Red. If we hadn't have taken him, he would have been butchered. We had to butcher Ezra because he had leg mites, as I already mentioned. The rhubarb has really grown. There's kale, lettuce, and a few peas over here. And radishes over here. The tomatoes are finally producing fruit. These radishes are starting to go to seed. Kale will grow on its own when beds are tilled. There are a few figs on the fig tree. There are blueberries on the bush. The sunflowers are not very tall. Hopefully they will bloom before frost. The wild cucumbers have grown their fruit. The snowberries are producing fruit, too. That white in the center is the berry. It's hard to tell, but there are huckleberries on that bush up on the hill. Here's a huckleberry up close. Trailing blackberries are producing fruit. Here's a black cat, the native raspberry. It has already grown its fruit. These trees have been growing for over 10 years. This small creek will remain dry until the rain season comes. It is molting season. I didn't get a chance to film in October, and November is almost over. Brownie and Coco molted a lot, but their feathers are growing back now. The Welsomers still have their beautiful plumage. Here is Zelia. Luna is still here too, but Misty got carried off. Deciduous trees and bushes are losing their leaves. Most of them have already lost their leaves. We are no longer getting eggs from our own chickens because it's too cold for them to lay. 
There's a big flower pot on top of that post, so hot don't put your perch up there. A hawk perched up there then swoops down and attacks Zena. I don't know if Zena will ever eat again. The firewood is now being used. The creek has risen. Two days ago it was flowing over the driveway. Last night there was an eclipse of the moon, but we didn't get to see it because it was too cloudy. We have had many sunny days and cold nights, but now it's getting cloudy again. It's sunny today, but slightly cold. We have had many days like this in December. We have had sunny days and cold nights. We have had many clear nights with heavy frost. There is still frost out there in the field. It won't go away until the sun shines on it. When you look up at the trees, it almost looks like summer, but it's still winter. It hasn't even been winter very long. The creek is flowing normally. We have not had much rain this month. The chickens are digging in the leaves looking for bugs. The huckleberries have lost all their leaves. The hazelnuts have lost their leaves as well as the huckleberries. This is a dawn redwood. Unlike most conifers, dawn redwoods are deciduous. There are strings of dried wild cucumber vines up there. Many of the maples have moss with licorice ferns growing out of it. This small creek flows into Skamakaway Creek. The water is very cold. The tall grass is yellow and fallen over. Here's one of the willows I planted this summer. It has lost its leaves for the winter. The creek down here is covered with many alders, with a single conifer. I do not know how it grew here. Here is some foxglove without its purple flowers. It is still green. This foxglove is dried up. There are small buds on the alder. 
This creek flows year round, unlike the little one in front of our house. Spider webs are covered with cold dew. There is ice on the ground down here. The white on that rock is ice. We used to see beavers down here, but I haven't seen any down here in years. But they're probably still here. Trees that are close to the creek are mostly deciduous. Deciduous trees need more water than conifers. This is very strange frost. I don't know how it happened. Here's the view from the other side of the field. There is still white frost down here. The sheep are out in the field eating grass. A holly tree has red berries on it. Swallows use this birdhouse in the summer. There are martin houses hung on there in the summer, but we haven't gotten any martins to live in them, only swallows. That tree is filled with cones. This house is meant for mason bees to lay their eggs in, but I don't know if they did this year. The bamboo is growing thicker stock than it used to. Here's where two roosters that we had a long time ago were buried. It is starting to cool down now, and there is mist on the field. The sheep have come in because the field got cold. I put new bedding in the nesting box so the chickens will be warmer and they have less of a risk of getting mites. If we ever get new chickens next year, they will all be Rhode Island Reds. Rhode Island Reds are the prettiest, but they're good layers, and we need more eggs.
We still haven't had any snow since February. <laughs>